Yo, Reese here from Waypoint, and in this video, I'm going to give a quick little 101 on the new navigation options that Deer have added to the B2B portal. So, in the integration section into the B2B, if you go into your B2B portal, you'll notice that in the navigation section, there is now a new option for the horizontal navigation bar um, beyond categories, tags, brands. There is custom menu and that's what we're going to go through today now you may be familiar with such setups such as this where it is just a selection of different categories and it essentially will result in your b2b portal looking something like this just nice simple buttons to go through to the categories of products for instance now what the uh, custom menu enables you to do is do a whole lot of nested and um, variables um, beyond just categories, tags, and brands. So let's have a look at them now. I'm just going to switch, which is just saying that it will remove my current settings. And I'm just going to get rid of this particular example to start from fresh. So here you're able to actually add items into the navigation bar as you normally would but you can give them names and there are different types. So we're gonna review that, review that now. The first one here is list of products. This works pretty much as you would expect. It is pretty much vanilla for what we've seen with the brands and the tags um, and categories before. So for instance, if I wanted this to be a menu for all my beer items, I would go beer, I would go add products, I'd be presented with the different filters I can apply. So I could go here and make my beer a selection of the category and I could go and find beer. But also I can do combinations if I like. So for instance this will be anything matching beer or anything with the tag let's say um, bottle. That will mean that um, either one of those conditions will actually populate products into that menu. So you can get pretty fancy, you can go beyond um, obviously category, tag and brand, but you can also do um, with additional attributes here. If you use them, you can individually select products as well. Um, so if I was to go here and it went pale ale bottle for instance, boop, that will mean that it will add in just a selection of products. It will remove your previous um, filters as it works on a single instance. So this would be where I'd list out every single item I want in that menu. So it pretty much works um, like you've seen previously with the category, brand, and tag options, but there are some additional um, areas you can add these to. So what we've also got here is if I add a new item, is the ability to have a menu item. Now the menu essentially gives you um, the dominant selection here um, whereby you can say um, products. You can also drag and drop these other menu items and that includes dragging them as sub menu items. So here in products I can add beer in by dragging and dropping and now that's nested underneath. And I can continue to add sub menu of products, but these can also be their own menu items and group menus, which we'll talk about in a moment. So the menu items are purely a way of formatting um, different um, hierarchies of nested things, and you um, can go one level deep on these here. If you did want to, if you're creating another menu item here, and I was going to go um, additional products, for instance. And add a sub menu here. I'm just going to quickly add a list of products, noting that I can't go a third level deep. There is no ability to add a menu or a grouped um, item here. I'm just going to turn this into a link. Um, let's go cider and go cider.com. We'll talk about that in a moment. Now, with this saved, you can also preview this here, which will show how this particular menu structure will work. We know here beer and additional products breaks down here to cider which is great, but obviously if you refresh your um, B2B portal, you'll see these changes taking effect as well and how that's actually working. Fantastic. So that is a menu item with a uh, product selection there and another menu item with a link underneath it. So the other area we have here is where we might... Um, be adding grouped menus. Now what group menus never you do is a little bit more variety of how items are actually placed within that menu. So here I might actually choose um, with this, I might actually, just to simplify the explanation, I might just change the whole thing to a group menu. I might call this products and then I can add 
um, items to this. Now the first thing you see here is this ability to add a ordering. So as you add in lines, they go one, two, three, four, etc. And we're going to use that to actually show the flexibility of the um, grouped menu. Now I can still do list of products, but I can also do a new area here called title. This is a non-selectable um, item. Um, it doesn't really have um, much to do apart from illustrate a point. So I'm going to go here and write maybe shop by brand. So what I want to have is a, essentially a header and then I can have items underneath it. So here I might go and add a, as a list of products, um, select a brand filter. I might go here and go, uh, I think I have a beer co, fantastic. Boom. And I'm just going to call this one beer co. And we'll add another one here. And we'll call this waypoint beer. Now I wouldn't, um, to actually do the base setup of this, I don't actually need to um, have these filters in place. It will still enable me to save without the products added in, but I just want to be diligent here. Now I'm going to illustrate how this works here, but also by um, pretty much um, purposely doing a mistake here with the ordering. So here I have my grouped menu and I have um, these three options. I'm just going to refresh this so we can see this in the full UI. I go products and we see here shop by brand and then we have these items to the right here. It works, but it's not ideal. I can't select shop by brand, but I can select these options. Now what I can do is actually change the order so each one of these actually exists on the same um, column as uh, shop by brand. And this is how you'd actually more logically do this kind of setup. So if we have a look at this with the changes saved, I go to products, and there we have shop by brand. I could continue doing further ones of these on the individual rows and it will organize um, underneath accordingly. So a great way you can use titles and you can use these to um, collect things or different conditions together. Fantastic. Um, what I will do here is I will illustrate what the link does here. So you saw me do it before, but um, I can change this to a link and all that is is a hyperlink either on your um, B2B portal or an external link, um, keeping in mind that Deer isn't verifying those links. So if it is, if you haven't typed it in correctly, it could very easily go um, go wrong. But do be aware, check your homework before actually enacting this. And if we were to make this um, to illustrate the second row here, um, promotions, and I hit save. Oh, didn't have this here, promotion.com. <laughs> It will definitely check if there's nothing in that um, section, but not if that link works. So if I go here, we now see that I've got in that second section there that promotion link. And this is where, obviously, if you're going to be doing um, the title sections, it's really good to keep that consistent as it'll keep it nice and clean. And that pretty much um, is the fundamentals of how you can use and interact with these, um, the difference between um, selecting a list of products menu versus grouped and the linked and how you can use them they interact together noting that you can drag and drop and add whole new um, menus as you need um, um, to actually build your custom kind of way of navigating your b2b store these particular ones here are formatting as far as um, whether you're going to be aligning left center or right um, so if i was to do something drastic like the right hand side here um, and get rid of this here We see here, <laughs> I didn't even know where to look for it, um, that it has aligned there. Whereas if I wanted all my menu items um, to be starting from the center out, this would work in that way as well. Now, um, also note that with this new custom menu comes new appearance options in the appearance section here. If you go down to the bottom, you'll find that there's a whole area to customize the look and feel of your um, custom menu in the B2B. That's pretty much an overview of the custom menu um, option, how to actually use it in different combinations and the different options that are available. Um, obviously um, fairly versatile and really excited to see what people actually um, build. Take care.